Hey M Squad, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Mary Maxine, the girl with the kinks and the curls. Tell me how you woke. Coming up, brother in the casket. Tell me how you woke. In today's video, I will be showing you all how I got these bomb finger coil in my hair using two products from Baskin Bloom. I use the Baskin Bloom Ease Leave-In Conditioner as well as their Twirly Hair Gel. And my hair is sh-poppin', y'all. Sh-poppin'. The coils are here to stay. They are not here to play, honey. They're here to stay. But before I jump into the demo, if you like this video, please be sure to leave a thumbs up. Make sure that you comment in the comment section. Make sure you subscribe to my channel as well as turn on my post notification bell. I post videos every Wednesday at 6 p.m. and I want to make sure that you're notified. Please be sure to also follow me on Instagram. That's how we can get connected throughout the week. My name on Instagram is at Kinky Curly Mary. With all that being said, I'm just going to hop into the demo portion so y'all can see how I got these ship hopping finger coils using two products from Basque and Bloom. All right, y'all. So I'm going to keep this portion very simple. So as you can see, I am starting off on damp air. Right now, I am just sectioning off my hair and then I'm going in with my spray bottle to just get my hair a little damp. I'm going to go in with the Ease Leave-In Conditioner from Basque and Bloom and I am going to make sure that I work this conditioner from root to bottom or from bottom to root actually but I'm going to be raking this into my hair and then I'm going to go in with the brush with the best brush and then after I detangle I'm going to go in with the twirly hair gel from Basque and Bloom and I'm going to rake it into this section then I'm going to start the coiling process so as you can see I am just winding my hair into a rope like motion um, sometimes I like to start at the root depending on how thick the section is but sometimes I just legit just twirl it it doesn't really matter to me but if you want your hair to be defined from root to bottom make sure that you start coiling from the top but as you can see it gives my hair these nice kinky spiral curls which I love
Okay, so my camera is actually about to die, so I will be back when my hair is fully dry to show you guys my final results because I have this section to finish and then this section right here. So I'll be back. I'll probably post a little clip from my phone showing you guys what it looks like when it's wet, but yeah, I'll be back when my hair is completely dry. Okay, so this is what my hair is looking like wet. I told you guys I was going to come back on here to show you what my hair looks like wet, so this is what it looks like. So I'm going to sit under my hooded dryer for about... 30 to 45 minutes and then see what's um how my hair dries but um real quickly so the front of my hair i actually had to go in with wet line extreme because it wasn't coiling which is kind of why i kind of don't do finger coils because i have such a hard time with this area of my head but i was able to get somewhat of a coil going on you know some popping or whatever so yeah i'm going to um sit under my head dryer for about 30 to 45 minutes and then when i am done I will be back to show you my final results. Okay, so these are my dry results. I actually sat under my hooded dryer for about 20 minutes or so. Actually 20 minutes. I didn't have to sit under that long. I kept checking my hair to see if it was wet and it's actually pretty dry. So now what I'm going to do is go in with my Jane Carter Nourish and Shine. So I'm going to just take a little bit of it because I want to get some of the crunch out. Especially in the front because I did have to end up going in with wet line extreme So I'm gonna take a little bit of this nourish and shine and I'm just going to use it like this on my hair Just to kind of remove some of the crunch that I might have But I'm honestly loving my results y'all I haven't done finger coils like that in a while and the last time I actually did a finger coil video was years ago and um, it's very cringy. I'm gonna insert a clip of it right now so you guys can see. Honestly y'all, this is super cringy. I apologize for this. Like, just watching this right now makes me cringe hard. But yeah, this was me two years ago thinking I was doing something with my hair and um, yeah, just continue watching to see the cringe. Now that my hair is moisturized, I'm just going to jump into my finger coils. So I'm going to do a close-up right now. I'm just making sure that I put enough gel in my hair. So I'm brushing the gel through my hair evenly. Because, you know, I have to evenly distribute my gel. And what I'm going to do is take a section, a small section, and just twirl it around my finger. Just twirl it like it's a rope. Just keep twirling it till you reach the end of your hair and then let go. I'm going to do it one more time for you guys so what I'm going to do is take another section and I'm going to just rub the product throughout my hair and twirl like a rope just keep twirling your hair just twirl 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 so yeah but yeah I really really love my results and if you guys love my results as well and you want to purchase these products please be sure to use my code Mary20 on the Baskin Bloom website to save 20% off your entire purchase thank you for watching this video M squad I love you so 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 much if you like this video please be sure to leave a thumbs up make sure you leave a comment in the comment section and most importantly subscribe to my youtube channel I post videos every Wednesday at 6 p.m. Make sure you turn on the post notification bell so you're notified every time I post a new video. And yes, I love you all so much. Until next time, M-Squad, peace and love. Bye.